great. I am comfortable with the conducive learning environment here in Fortune Schools. Now, tell me about Fortune Schools. Fortune Schools comprise Scratch, nursery primary and secondary classes. We have the Center for International General Certificate of Secondary Examination, that's the IGCSE. Yes, we also have standard facilities for both boarding and day students. Not only that, Fortune Schools have spacious and well ventilated classroom blocks with up to date library facilities and coastal water and power supply. Also, in Fortune Schools, we have God fearing, motivated, and qualified teachers. In Fortune Schools, our school buses are always on ground to pick and drop us on time. We also have standard and state of the art ICT equipment. In addition to that, in Fortune Schools, high level of discipline is maintained and we also enjoy co curricular activities in the school. In Fortune schools, we are also known for zero tolerance in exam and practice. Fortune models good and responsible citizen for the world. Yes, the spirit of teamwork is equally built in students, pupils and staff. Admission is ongoing. Please visit the school compound at number 16 Udonsoro Street, a chapter for Uyo, Kwebom State. Great Fortune School! Fortune schools, excellence through hard work. Ahmad Gandhi once said, The best way to find yourself in service is to lose yourself in the service of others. Indeed, service is a fulfilling activity that can help to see that you are not defined by identity, but by ability, sympathy, connection, and solidarity that together reflect the most essential purpose of life. Martin Luther King Jr. also opined that life's most pertinent and urgent question is, what are you doing for others? Right Honorable Sikak Ekong, the member representing Ikonikpene, Esienudim, Oborokara, federal constituency at the Green Chambers of the National Assembly of Nigeria, in his numerous bids to answer this deep question and also exhibit one of the major leadership qualities sponsored the training and empowerment of 80 participants on fish farming in collaboration with the National Center for Hydropower Research and Development, Ilori, Kwara State. Okay, this size, it's not advisable for you to give this size of food. Huh? Because the, the bigger, the bigger the, the feed, the, the lower the part of the protein content. So like 3 mm is okay for them. Now like this white color all depend on the there are some, if you check, all of them change. You need to check the water. So, when you want to know the health of that fish, they will be dark in color. You know that, okay. But when they start to be whitish, you know there is something wrong. You apply drugs for them. As the participants were carefully selected across the three local government areas of his constituency. I am representing Ikwari Kwene, Okorokara, and the Senate of the local government. And anything I do, the three local governments will be carried along. I sat down and looked at that list and made sure that all the local governments were included. And like I said, this is the first batch. The second batch and the third batch are coming. 
PDP, power to the people. The venue of this life-changing empowerment was at the Ikot Ekbene Local Government Council Hall with Ojijo Ligne Engineering Company Limited as facilitator. At the training, 80 participants were divided into batches of 30 and 20 to undergo fish farming training for seven days. The training was intense and opens the participants' eyes to how one can run a healthy and lucrative fish farming for the benefit of both the society and the farm owner. One, it will reduce uh, cannibalism because they eat themselves in the night. So if at all you can feed them in the night, you will reduce the cannibalism. At what stage are they set for you? I said it now, that is for, for consumption. I tell you that many people, before we used to stop up to six months, but now we don't do it that way. From three to four months we harvest because of the local uh, buyers around us, because they want to dry it. But if at all you want to do it as a business and you have a capital to have a dryer, you will make much money. If you can dry it, buyers are they looking for it. Okay. You make much money. The person that comes to invest in your farm, maybe for example, they, they are going to buy in KG. And maybe if at all they are buying a, a, your fish that is five, 500 grams, two of it is one KG. Now, if at all you can dry, maybe a KG is, like presently, is 650 which the local buyers are buying, 650. But if at all you dry that two fish, you can sell it one thousand. You can see the difference. Is it possible to know the, the quantities of food that you are giving to them that will be okay for them each time that you are coming to feed them? Yes, it is possible. It is possible because every day that you are feeding them, you are following them. You understand? For example, you take a feed. Maybe when you started, you started because they were small. When you started with them, you were putting feed, maybe quarter of this. And by the time you are feeding them, when you give them, you wait, like you are seeing me. I'm not waiting for formality. I give them and I wait. I give them and I wait. And when they are satisfied at that early stage, you will see they will not be picking the feed again. They will be left over then you know they are okay. By so doing, when you bring that quantity again and come, they consume it all, you know they are not okay. You, you increase it. By so, you are following them. This lawmaker also provided 10,000 fingerlings, 2,000 liters of the plastic fish ponds with a bag of fish food for each participant. The participants expressed appreciation to the right honorable Sikak Ekong. That we are starting to work. We are always doing well. And we do it. And we will continue to do well. We are set a pace that will be very difficult for others to break. So I wish him well. I thank him so much for the empowerment. I thank you so much for good empowerment that Honorable gives to us today. I pray may good Lord bless him and his family in Jesus' name. I'm so excited right now. I all thank you to him and God Almighty. They're done very well. I don't even know how to thank you like that. I'm so excited.